Hello, and welcome to Crooked House Gaming. Here at Crooked House Gaming, we like to explore the gameplay of simulation games, usually through a series of Let's Plays. If this sounds like something that you're interested in, be sure to hit that like button. And if you're new here, welcome, and be sure to hit that subscribe button so you won't miss any future episodes. Today, we're going to continue to explore the gameplay of the tenants, so let's dive in. We are at Boring Lane. Cindy seems to be broken. There appears to be flooding, so I'm wondering if I can do a bug report. I am sending in a bug report. The game is in early access and any bug reporting will usually help the game developers out. I can't even get in here to clean this pile of stuff up. Oh, we got a skill tree improvement. So let's see what we can do. I'm going to buy the flowers improvement because Mabel here likes flowers and I've been trying to get on the good side of Mabel. We don't have any cash to buy any properties, so let's take a job. Raphael Raymond at Webster Street, 200B, full apartment renovation, requirements, total makeover, budget $14,350. Let's accept that and head on over to Webster Street. Here we are at Webster Street. Let's begin cleaning. Okay, Uncle Steve, why don't you get in here and repair that bureau, clean this puddle up, and try to restore this couch. I do have some things in player storage, but I don't want to sell them because that would go into the apartment budget. I tried to sell them when I was renovating 2nd Avenue, but it wouldn't let me do that. Okay, so he's putting these in player storage for me. And then I'm going to send him out because I don't think there's any walls. No, no walls that need to be plastered. So you can head on out, Uncle Steve. I want to begin the renovation so let's see what we need to do here we need a bedroom a bathroom and a kitchen what do we need in the bathroom okay we could do a relatively small bathroom maybe i will do the bathroom in the back today i'm going to do a four by four bathroom put a door right here and a door right there i'm gonna put these 399 dollar doors on they want us to focus on the floors so here's the laminate floors i'm gonna give them a 50 dollar laminate floor in here not the best but not the worst zoom in a bit and they want yellow walls i'm going to give them this latte colored wall i know i've been using that one a lot i'm gonna give them the 599 dollar shower cabin i'm gonna rotate that around so the spigot is near where the plumbing would be in the wall i'm going to give him the fancy toilet that we just got put this fancy toilet right here and they want a bathroom sink i could give them the fancy bathroom sink as well fancy bathroom sink they want a toilet brush i'm going to give them the 70 dollar toilet brush and they want toilet paper we'll give them this toilet paper cabinet that's 100 percent. we don't have to do anything else in that room if we don't want to we're off to the bedroom they want carpets or linoleum and a gray or blue wall i'm gonna go with this terracotta floor and they want gray or blue walls Ooh, i like this wall not for that room <laughs> I'm going to go with this $55. Hey, Cindy Knapp has sent me money, even though she can't move. She's stuck by the front door, so maybe she just keeps sliding her checks out under the door to the mailman. Let's give him this $999 royal bed. I'm going to put it on this wall. And they just want wall decor. This is sort of nice. Oriental wall decor. Provi item provided by the client only f available for this job. I'm going to put that right there so you can see it as you come in the door. 42%. Mabel just sent us the money. Thank you, Mabel. We need laminate floors. I'm going to go with the $55 laminate floors in here. They want red walls. I'm going to do the $50 red wall. They want a fridge and a cooker. I'm going to put this $1,399 refrigerator right there. I am going to give them the $999 cooker. That's all they want in here. But I think I can give him some other stuff. What do we what do we got for a rating in here? Zero percent. We have four thousand one hundred dollars remaining. We need to put a sink in here, I think, would be really good. Let's give them this sink and give them this cake counter. And I might rotate this over here. I changed my mind and I'm putting that right there. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna jiggle this around here. And I'm gonna give them this corner cake counter. I'm going to give them a greeny toaster. I am going to give them a coffee maker. And I'm going to give them a bar stool. They can sit here while they're waiting for their toast to pop up. at 62%. I could probably give them a hood and perhaps I will give them a seating area. I'm going to give them this $369 table right there. I'll give them the oval chairs. That brings us up to 87%. Okay, 
Let's see if we can do any decor items in here. I'll put this little plant on the table. 42% and 93%. Put a rubber plant in the corner over there. Put a plant over here in this corner. Do a green corner over there. It's taking us 46%. They want big plants, wall decoration, wall decor, cabinets, wall shelves, painting. Put the owl right there. That's 77%. That owl actually means something to them. I could put this white cabinet in here. We have $51 remaining. I could put these books here. And that brings us up to 100% with 93% in the kitchen. I think that's all right. I think I'm going to deliver the job. The individual's coming in here and he's looking at the bar stool and he's thinking he loves the bar stool. He's coming in and he's looking at the cake counter and he thinks he loves the cake counter. He is going off looking at the table and he loves the table. He's going into the bathroom and looking at the overall design of the apartment and he thinks he loves the apartment. Our review for this apartment renovation was Raphael Raymond Webster Street 200B. A job well done. I feel guilty for paying so little. It's like Smitty replaced the door with a portal to a different world. Astonishing. Excellent work. Needs to be rewarded. Required furnishings. Five stars. No issue. Preferred furnishings. Five stars. No issue. We put that plushy owl up. That's what did it. Floors. Five stars. No issue. Walls. Five stars. No issue. Decor. This category was ignored, but we got five stars. First impression. Five stars. No issue. Five stars overall. Our bonus for this job was $1,310. Total payout for this job was $7,860. So we are now up to $9,170 from, I don't even know what we were at, 280 something. I want to go take a look at Cindy Knapp to see if she's moved. She is still stuck there. I'm going to research her. Maybe that'll fix her. Ooh, earthquake. Earthquake. Maybe that'll shake her up out of her situation. I'm waiting for the phone calls for my tenants because there was just an earthquake. It doesn't appear that anybody's calling me. Yeah, see how she's just sort of idling right there? Mabel says, you gotta help me during this recent earthquake. A, a few walls got damaged. I don't know what to do. I'm gonna send a pro in because I would really like Uncle Steve to go in here. But she doesn't appear to be calling us and she's got this leak and the walls are damaged in there. So I don't know what's going on with this apartment. Mabel says, that went smoothly. Thanks for the quick reaction. Let's see if we can take another job. Looks like the highest paying job here is for Hyder England at Knorr Circle, 369. Looking for a designer to do a total makeover of our apartment so that it fits our needs. Requirement, total makeover. Budget, $15,250. The payout will be $5,550. Let's accept that job and head on over to Knorr Circle. Here we are at Knorr Circle. Let's begin cleaning, Uncle Steve. Just clean that up. I don't believe there's anything else to do in here. Excellent, Uncle Steve. You can head on out. Let's begin renovating. They want a bedroom, a bathroom, and a kitchen. I don't see any preferred furnishings, but they've been slipping in preferred furnishings, and you sort of have to look for it. I haven't been listing them. Looks like her tenant's traits are basic, like most anything you give them. I'm going to move this radiator out here and make this the blank room. So let's do a stone floor. We will do a stone floor here. You know what? No, I'm going to demolish this wall. I'm going to demolish this wall right here. Demolish. All right, there we go. Let's do a red wall. They don't mind the walls. Let's do a purple wall because, you know, purple is the new red. They want a shower cabin. Cindy Knapp just, you know, I'm really glad for her being stuck that she's at least sending me money. We want a shower cabin. We're going to give them this Saj shower cabin right there in that corner. They want a toilet. We're going to give them the fancy toilet right there. They want a bathroom sink. We'll give them the fancy bathroom sink. Doing pretty good with the set. They want a toilet brush. Yep, $70 toilet brush. And they want a toilet paper holder. We'll give them the toilet roll holder cabinet. We're at 100% the bathroom. Let's do this $50 floor. They don't mind the walls. We can do stars. Mabel just sent us the money for the period. We'll do this $849 bed. And they want wall decor. They want an Uzi. Yeah, let's do that. We'll put an Uzi right there. Let's see how we're doing on our rating in there. 79% oriental calendar. I'll put that right there. 100% for that room. Let's head on over to the kitchen area. We want a laminate floor in here. I'm going to give them this $55 laminate floor. They want a gray wall. I'm going to give them the really busy, crazy wall to go with the crazy floor. They want a fridge. We'll give them the best fridge possible. That fridge. I'm moving this over to here. And I'm going to move this closer to the door. They want a cooker. We're going to give them this really snazzy cooker. 
Zero percent decor, so let's do some kitcheny things. They want this blue cabinet, so I'm gonna do that blue cabinet right there. And they want this pearl cabinet, so I'll do the pearl cabinet that doesn't match. And we'll do this cake sink. It would have been nice if this actually was the same color, but it's not. That's okay. We're at 42%. We're going to do the hood over the green cooker. I'm going to do the greeny toaster on this corner cabinet. We can do this coffee machine. We'll put the little blender here. I could probably put a bar stool in here because they seem to like bar stools. We're at 86%. Let's see if we can do some sort of uh, kitchen furniture in here. We can do the same elegant table. We will do the potato chip chairs. I wonder if I can stick a plant in the corner. Yep, it'll fit. Put a welcome mat by the front door. And let's see if they want us to do anything fun, because I'm not seeing anything unusual that I don't normally see. I'm gonna put this clock over this area, and I'm gonna put some lights over the kitchen counter. Let's put a light over the bed. And there are no lights in this room. Let's put lights in the bathroom. Let's take a look at the decor in the kitchen area. We're at 100%. I'm just going to deliver the job. I'm not going to bother to give them a living room area. The individual is looking at the shower cabin and they think they love this shower cabin. They're going into the little kitchen nook area and they're going right over to the rubber plant and they think, I love this rubber plant. They're looking at the table and they're thinking, they love the table. Looking at the overall design of this very busy kitchen area, they love it. Didn't look at the Uzi or the calendar in there. Let's take a look at our job review. Hyder Anglin of Canor Circle, 369. I thought only my brother-in-law could do such miracles with a putty knife and a paint roller. I couldn't believe my eyes. Excellent work needs to be rewarded. Required furnishings, we got five stars, no issues. Preferred furnishings, five stars, no issues. Floors, five stars, no issues. Walls, five stars, no issues. Decor, five stars, no issues. First impression, five stars, no issues issues. We got five stars overall. Our bonus was $1,110. Our total for this job was $6,660. Now I'm wondering about what's going on here. We went to default landlord mode and we did not go to creative mode. Creative mode was supposed to give you more time to renovate the rooms, give a higher payout on the jobs. We didn't choose that option. So I'm just wondering if we chose that option, how much more money would they be giving us for these jobs? When we did this game last season we were getting paid a lot less for jobs in the slums so i'm not sure what's going on here Let's take a look at mabel phillips i can begin cleaning her apartment i don't think there's anything else that needs to be cleaned in here i'm going to take a look at cindy knapp who can't seem to move in her place i really wish there was something i could do to like force a restart or something yeah i can't do anything with her let's take a look to see if we can look for another property okay there's a property over here What's this? Lost Creek Road, $266,000. We cannot afford that. Uh, Wilson Avenue, $212,000. We cannot afford that. We could probably afford it with a loan. This one is Dane Street, 223. Yeah, maybe we could afford one of these other ones if we took out a loan. Wilson Avenue. Maybe we could take Wilson Avenue. That's 212. This is 266. Any other ones? Yeah, I'm not seeing anything else. I was thinking of buying this Wilson Avenue for 212222 but we cannot take out a $250,000 bank loan yet. We can only take out $150,000. Even if we took out this loan, we would only have $116,000. There goes that idea. Cindy Knapp is still stuck. Can't even fix the apartment that's broken and she's flooding water. I really don't know what to do. I'm sort of at a loss here. She's been paying her bills on time. Mabel Phillips says, believe it or not, but I got a bunch of roaches roaming around the apartment. What the hell? I could release some assistance boss. These ones look quite nasty. Yeah, we'll send uh, Uncle Steve in. And yeah, these are pretty nasty looking roaches. So he can spray some poisonous cloud. Yeah, I'm so hoping that at some point, Cindy Knapp will get unstuck and we can interact with her. All right, success. She says, thanks for helping me solve this problem. Okay, she's sort of liking us. She's happy at 99%. I think I'm going to end the episode here. Thank you so much for stopping by our crooked house. If you like what you saw, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And hit that subscribe button if you want to follow Smitty on his journey to create his landlord empire. It really helps us out. Have a great week. See you soon.